so then when I'm finished, I don't know if you can do this or not, but you can try, okay? So you curve it like this, curve your paper, and then hold it with one hand and pick it up very slowly, but don't tip it yet. And then you come over here, and use two hands, and pour it back in, just like that. You might have to practice that, okay? So now I want you to use two fingers, and I want you to trace the w sound, okay? So we're gonna go down and over and up, over and down, and then back up. That's w, w. So w, w. Yeah. So hopefully you remember that, okay? W, w, whale. All right, the next work that I sent home is the bumblebees. So you have your mommy or daddy are gonna have to cut these out for you so that they are all the, the same, so that the card is all the same size, right? Carter, will you turn that down a little bit, please? Thank you. Okay, so let's lay those out. Lay all of them out. Carter, turn it down. Thank you. Okay, now first I want you to look at your bees. Are they honeybees or are they bumblebees? They look more like honeybees to me. Okay, so I'm gonna look for the very smallest bee. Hmm. Hmm. Is it this one? Or is it this one? Which one is smaller? This one. So we want to put that one first. So we'll lay it to our left. And now we need to find the next smallest bee. Hmm. Hmm. I think this is the next bee. So I will put it right beside the very tiniest bee. All right, now which one is the smallest? Hmm, I think this one is next. So I will lay him right by the other bees that I have. Okay, and now I have to find which one is the smallest. Hmm. I have two that kind of look the same. Which one do you think is smaller? Can you point to the small one? This one is smaller, so I will put him next. Now which one is the smallest? Hmm, this one, right? So there he goes. Now which one is small? Hmm, this one is small. So now I have four left. Which one is smaller? This is kind of tricky, isn't it? I think this one is next. Now which one is smaller? This one. So I will put him up there. Now I have two left. Which one is smaller? They look so similar, don't they? This is a good work. I think this one is smaller. And so this one must be the biggest honeybee, right? The biggest honeybee goes all the way to the right. So we have the smallest and the largest honeybee. Doesn't that look cool? They get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and biggest. So I'm done with that work, but you can do it as many times as you want to do it. Repetition is key. We want that. Okay, the 
next work for Wednesday is our cutting work. The butterflies. Again, I printed mine horizontally and yours is vertical. Yours goes like this and your butterflies are down here, but that's okay. So we'll get scissors. You will use scissors that fit your hand, okay? And make sure mom and dad are sitting beside you when you have scissors, okay? We don't want you to get cut. We just want them to watch just to make sure, okay? So to cut this, I'm going to go up a little bit and then over. So I turn my scissors and then I turn my scissors again and go up. Oh, and then I have to go over again. So I'm gonna turn my scissors in my paper and cut like that. And then I'll turn them again to cut straight again. See? Oh, and the next line is a straight line. Can you cut straight? We can try. So we just go snip. Snip, snip, all the way up to the butterfly. Oh, I forgot. Mom and dad are gonna have to cut these before you cut. So they're gonna cut on the dark line. And that will be easier for you to hold the paper and the scissors, okay? So let them cut that line and then you can cut on the dotted line. This one is a little bit tricky, it's curvy. So we're gonna move our scissors back and forth all the way down. And it's okay if you don't do it right on the line, okay? We're just practicing, right? We're learning how to use scissors. It helps strengthen our hands so that we can learn how to write and we can hold a pencil and our hands have enough muscles to hold the pencil and not get tired. Okay, keeps us learning how to be steady with our hands. So that's our cutting work. And that's all the work for Wednesday. But you feel free to do any of our previous works that we sent home, or you can work ahead and do some of the work that we sent home this time, if you know how to do it, okay? I gave a little bit of direction on each assignment on Google Classroom. So mom and dad can read that and decide if they want to let you do that activity that day, okay? So over the weekend, guess whose birthday it was? Travis! Remember our little friend Travis? Guess how old he is? Two! Travis is two years old now. And in class, we would walk around the sun, remember? And he would hold the earth. And we would sing, the earth goes around the sun. The earth goes around the sun. Every year we make a trip. The earth goes around the sun. And then we, he would go around two times, right? Because he has been around the sun two times. He's made two trips already. He's getting very big, so I'm gonna sing him happy birthday. And you can sing to him too at home, okay? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Travis. Happy birthday to you. Yay! All right. Well, that's all we have for today and if you have any questions you can text Miss King or Mrs. Moore and we will answer them okay we miss you guys so much keep posting pictures and I hope we can zoom soon we will I promise and we will let you know when we schedule that date okay all right Bye, friends. I love you guys.